Hi, this is Kentucky Governor Matt Bevin. I'm going to give you the Reader's Digest version of the longer video that's posted for my refutation of a lot of the misinformation that has been put out there. I'm going to show you what I said when I called people to action in our inner city to combat violence through prayer and through community engagement. I'm going to show you what I said and I'm going to show you a couple of responses that other people have had to what I said. You decide who's telling you the truth. Here's what I said and then you'll see what they said I said. And you tell me, do you think you can trust the media? I personally believe in the power of prayer. I've seen it. I've seen it evidence not only uh, in, in our communities, but beyond. And this is what we're asking people to do. Do we still need political solutions and law enforcement solutions? Do we still need economic solutions? You bet we do. Of course we do. And this isn't in any way, shape, or form trying to take the place of other things that have got to be done. But this is something that we firmly believe will make a difference in our community. That's why I'm so disappointed by Governor Matt Bevin's insinuation that all we need to do to cure the epidemic of violence in our city is send out nightly prayer patrols in the affected neighborhoods. I have a solution that has nothing to do with politics. It has nothing to do with spending more money. It has nothing to do with more police on the streets. It has everything to do about engaging you as members of our communities. And so I'm asking our senior pastors, senior members of our churches, congregations, our synagogues, to please come to this meeting. It's going to be simple, straightforward, easily done things. It's why I want you to be there, because there's no, nothing proprietary about this. I want you to take these ideas back with you. It's not going to be another government program. It's going to be simple, and it will be mocked, and it will be ridiculed, I can guarantee you. But it will be mocked and ridiculed by people who've never come up with a better solution. Uh, so I want people to just anticipate a simple solution that if they genuinely care and if they truly want to participate in finding a solution, it'll be something that they can easily participate in. What we said at the very beginning was that there is no single solution, including what we propose. There is no one thing that's going to fix what ails our communities at all. It is what we proposed today was a single component of many, many things that are going to need to be done. But when Bevin said last week that he would announce a plan of action to help solve Louisville's crime problem, he raised expectations that he would be telling us all something the mayor and the police chief have been unable to pull off. They didn't show up to hear a politician tell them to pray harder. They thought and hoped the governor was going to pull a surprise. I know for a fact that of the people who came to this meeting, 80 to 85 percent of them, came there for the right reasons. They didn't go out and posture up to the cameras. They didn't go out and demand barf bags because of the call to prayer. They didn't insult the reason that they were there or the community for their own self-serving purposes. These are people who came for the right reasons. I know you're out there. Some of you that were not at that meeting could be there. You can take a block. You can take five. You can take 10 or 50. Some of you belong to large organizations and, long, and large churches and congregations. Please get engaged. We can make a difference. The power of prayer is real. We can engage people and we can get to know them. We can infuse dignity back into our communities. And we can do this because we are Kentucky.